hi ladies. I hope you're having a great Friday. Get situated here. I'm going to do a quick video on... You can see me, I guess, it doesn't matter as long as you can hear me, but I'm going to do a quick video on frequently asked questions for those who have recently joined Unique. Okay, so now, even if you've been in Unique for six months, this video may help you because it may teach you some things you didn't already know. So, listen up. Uh, first and foremost, I get a lot of questions about the party run times. Okay, so when you set up a party in your back office, you have the option of setting it up for three five or 10 days. And as I've told most of you, I almost always go with the 10 days. There's um, usually no reason for me to go less. I mean, I do occasionally, it just depends. It just depends on how you communicate with your hostess and what they have as a preference. But if they don't know, if they don't have a preference or they ask you what yours is, always go for the 10 days because the longer you have to expose the guests to the products, the, the more likely you are to have more buyers, right? Um, the only time I end them early, you know, do a three or five day is like, for example, someone wanted to make sure that it ended well before Mother's Day so she could redeem her rewards and use it for that. So we ran a five day party for her instead of a 10 day. So that's what I typically do. Now, let's say that you've started a party and it's three days and you're like, oh, crap, I want to change it and make it 10. You can't do that. You can cancel the party. OK, you can't. Let me rephrase. You ca you cannot go in and extend a three day party to a ten. You can't go in and like adjust it, edit it. I don't know why they don't let us do that, but they don't. So, but what you can do is, if nobody's ordered from that particular link yet, you can go ahead and just cancel the party early. You can you're allowed to do that, and then once you do that, just create a new link and then give everybody that new link. That's the ten day link. But if someone's already are ordered from that party, that original three day party, don't cancel it because you're going to lose. The rewards that have already started accumulating it doesn't make sense to, to end it um so there's that um you can close a party early you cannot adjust it though for, as far as extending it what else do you need to know i think that's about it um so let me check these off as i go how does a party hostess know what she's earned so far well that is your responsibility to tell her in your back office under my parties you will see the link that takes you to your particular hostess's party. You click on her name, takes you to her party, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and there you will see the hostess rewards chart, okay? Um, it will tell you how much she's accumulated up to that point. And so what I like to do is um, throughout the party, it just depends. You have to judge your party based on how it's going and, you know, the type of people you have in there. But a lot of times I like to take that, that status that she's got so far um, and post it in the party. Like, so say, for example, she sold $160 worth of stuff. I will post it and show, like literally do a snapshot of it with my camera and post it in the party and say, she's only two mascara orders away from her goal. Everybody, let's help her. This stuff's awesome, blah, blah, blah. And it motivates people and your hostess to motivate her friends. So um, that's how you let her know what she's got. You tell her. If you are having trouble finding how to determine what your hostess has earned, just let me know and I can help you or go in your back office and just play around with it and you'll find it. Um, okay, so what does a hostess have to sell in order to er start earning points? Great question. And we do it by a point system. And so it's kind of confusing. Like it's not a really actual dollar amount that you have to sell in order to earn points. But what I tell my hostesses, it, just to make it simple, is number one, I'll send you a chart that... Um, that will tell you, hostess, what you need to earn. And it'll say 10, you get 10% free and so-and-so half off based on this amount of points, you know, 199 to whatever, 2000. I don't know, I, I don't have it memorized, but so I'll send you that chart or I'll post it below. And that chart's helpful, but you look at it and you're like, okay, this is kind of confusing. So to make it simple for everyone, I just tell my hostesses, as long as you sell about $200, I just give them the $200 mark because that's about the 2000 points where she starts earning. Um, as long as you sell $200 or more, you will start to accumulate free and half off, okay? And you break it down and that's like eight mascaras, right? That's nothing. You can easily do that in a party. Um, and so, but encourage her, of course, to earn more than the 200 because the more she earns, the more free she's going to get. So, um, okay, so there's that. How, how does a hostess redeem her, part, her rewards after the party ends? In your back office, take that back. When the hostess is done with the party, party is completely over and she has accumulated at least $200 or more and she's earned rewards, the, the party hostess has her own login. In other words, when she goes to your page, 
your website unique page. There is a presenter login option or a customer login option. Of course, she's a customer. She will select that login option. It then She then has her own personal account at that point, okay? And that's what the account should have. Um, that's the account that ha should have the party points under it. So what she'll do is she'll just go in and she will shop like normal, okay? Like she's just a regular customer doing nothing special other than adding items to her cart that she'd like. Then at the end, at the checkout point, it will have a bar at the top that says, enter the amount of YCash you wish, wish to use. YCash is the free money that we give you to, we give hostesses to, um, to use towards anything they want. It's just literally free money. Enter the amount of YCash you wish to use. You enter it, hit the arrow on the right, and it'll enter that YCash for you, okay? And then it'll say, select the items to use for half off. You select them, done. Then hit checkout and it will, it will process it accordingly. If she gets to that checkout point and it's not giving her her half off or for free, then there's probably a problem with her account. Oftentimes it means there's a duplicate account. Don't ask me how it happens. I don't know, but it does. It often means that there's a duplicate account and we just need to contact support, get them to delete that duplicate account or fix whatever the issue is, and then allow her to redeem her points. The hostess has 90 days from the date of her party ending to redeem her points. So be sure that people don't go months and months and not use it because when they try to go back on after six months, they won't be able to, to utilize those, those uh, points anymore. How do I contact support? In your back office, there is a section um, that says support. There's, you know, at the very top underneath the URL, URL bar, um, there is a, on the very right hand corner, I believe, a button that says support. Click that. And then over to the far right hand side, you'll see a, an envelope in a pink box and it'll say click here to start, start a new support ticket or something along those lines. Click that, you email them, they get back to you typically within a few hours, but they give them at least 24 hours to answer your question. So I, I email support probably twice a month just on random questions. I just had a gal who whose party ended and she couldn't redeem her hostess points. We had to call. We had to email them, they deleted the duplicate account, and we got it all fixed. And they got back to me within an hour of me emailing them. They're being, they're, they're fantastic with regard to the customer support lately. Um, it's really improved over the past six to eight months. And, um, but everybody needs to be a, a patient and understand that we're still a baby company in the sense that we've just started, you know, three years ago or whatever. And lots of these direct sales companies have been around for 20, you know, 15, 20 years. And so, of course, their customer services is honed and, and, and perfect, right? So we have to give unique enough time to catch up. They have been bombarded. They've sold more than they expected to. So, But again, their customer service has greatly improved. I think they've really got a handle on that. So that's how you contact them. Back office, support, email ticket. Okay. One thing you wish someone would have told you when you started with unique. Recruit, recruit, recruit. I wish someone would have helped me focus on recruiting as much as focusing on my sales. Everyone who starts, well, I shouldn't say everyone, just about everyone who starts, they're, you know, super excited and they can't wait to get going. And the first thing they do is start a party. Nothing wrong with that. But then they sell and then they sell more and then they sell, 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 and they focus on selling and they can't wait to sell more and they're selling and they're seeing those numbers go up and they see their sales go up and they see that commission, but they forget about recruiting and they forget that recruiting is the way and the only way to advance ranks and really make good money with any direct sales company, but specifically with Unique, with the way our comp plan is set up. So please do not underestimate the, the importance of recruiting. Please start right away. I know you're brand new to the company, and I know that you don't have a lot of answers to some of the questions that potential recruits would ask. But think about when you joined. Did you have a lot of questions answered for you? I know I didn't. I just joined because I was like, this stuff's awesome. I'm totally going to sell this. <laughs> you know, great, great, great decision making there. But I obviously I made the right choice because it's doing, I'm doing very well. But, you know, you don't have to be an expert in this in order to recruit people. You have to be excited about the products and believe in them and believe in the opportunity. And you can get recruits like that. I got my first recruit, I think, three or four weeks after I signed up. And I got, I got a, quite a few in the first three months. Um, so, you just need to be talking to people about the opportunity in addition to the mascara and the other makeup, okay? So, you know, example, you're, you're discussing it with a friend. Hey, I just signed up with this awesome, unique company. They, they have something that's really unique going on. No pun intended, but they, it's all done online. Like, I can literally take my phone to a baseball game, and I can post in a party and make 100 bucks easily. Nothing. That's it. That's all it takes. 
and explain this to some of your friends and say, you should really consider doing, doing, doing this with me. We would have a blast. That's all you have to say. And you're going to have people going, you know what? That actually sounds like something I meant to do and I'm, I'm interested in and I like money. I like makeup. Sweet. Sign me up. Like it's literally that simple. Now, don't misunderstand me. It is not going to be that simple every month at, over and over year after year. There are many months that I struggle. I talk to 100 people about the opportunity and I don't get a single person that signs up. But then there's the next month where I talk to 25 and I get three. Okay. So I don't want to make it seem like, oh my gosh, you just talk to everybody and they're just all going to come running. But I can assure you, like I've told everybody who started and I know you all believe me now, now that you're in it, people will come out of the woodwork for this stuff. People that you haven't talked to in months will or years even. I mean, I have girls messaging me from high school that I have not talked to in literally 10 years or more. And they're like, oh my gosh, I see these posts about mascara. It looks really cool. Can I buy some or can I join your team or whatever? Um, most of the people that are on my team, I don't really know them that well. I mean, I know of them. I have, you know, um, their acquaintances that I met through someone else, through someone else. You know, my very first recruit um, is a the wife of a guy that I went to high school with and I hadn't talked to him in years. And so um, you just have to realize that unexpected things will happen, which is great. I mean, unexpected good things will happen. People will come to you from out of your life. Okay. I didn't know you knew who I was, let alone that I sold mascara. Um, Take advantage of that. Okay. Always be discussing the opportunity with them. And the, uh, if you have any questions, at all about, okay, okay, you know, I've been talking to this girl and I really got her excited about the opportunity, but she's asking me questions that I don't know the answers to, get me on the phone. You, me, her on a call. The, I do these calls all the time. So I, I want to make sure that you're explaining to these potential recruits, this, these types of calls are not for that, for me to sell this to them. Okay. This is not me going to get on and make a big spiel and like an infomercial type thing. Okay. This is for me and them to get on the call and for me to sit there quietly and wait until they have a question. I can give, I can talk as much as they want or as little as they want. Um, I want them to, the whole point of the call is for them to feel equipped with the proper answers to their questions and, and feel like they sufficiently understand the company and its opportunity when they hang up the phone. Okay. So, you know, again, come with a list of questions ready for that recruit and I'll answer them because you're not going to have the answers and that's okay. You're, you're new. Um, but you please don't ask to underestimate and forget about that excitement that you have right when you join you can use that to get 10 recruits right in the first month. If you do that, oh my goodness, you will be a freaking rock star for the duration of your time with, with Unique. If you can get 10 right up front, that can carry you. I mean, you can get to green with just 10 easily as long as they're doing some something. Um, you want all kinds on your team too. Don't forget about that. You want the kind of people who are going to do this as a hobby. Or, you know, they want to sell 350 a month. And then you want the kind of people that are rock stars that are going to sell the $2,000 or more a month, right? Um, so, and and to me, I mean, it, the, the question of, you know, quality versus quantity, that's a difficult one for me to answer because I recruit pretty much anyone that wants to join my team. I really go after the people that I know would do well, okay? Um, but for those who I'm just like, yeah, I'll just ask them. Those people that I don't know what their work ethic is or whatever, they could easily be my one person that makes $125 sale, dollars in sales every month, which means I'm, that they're a qualified presenter, which then means that I can make my ranks because I need a number, a certain number of qualified presenters each month and, or else I can't advance to green or orange or whatever. Um, and that's okay. There are going to be girls on the team that only sell $125 a month. That's what they do. Cool. That's their thing, right? Um, but you're also going to look try to look for rock stars. So if you know someone, if you have someone in mind that, um, it's a makeup artist or a salon owner or a um, tanning place. They own a tanning salon or a hairstylist. Those are the best types of people to recruit because they're already in this particular industry and they can sell this stuff like crazy. So go after those people hard and then ask everyone. I literally just talk to everyone about it. Like I can't even express to you how often I talk about the opportunity with Unique at least once a day with someone. I will mention it. I will say um, it'll come up in conversation, you know, what they do for a living or whatever. And I say, I'm, I have an interesting story. I'm an attorney and I sell makeup on the side and I really like this, 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 and you know, it's an awesome opportunity. And they kind of go, wait a minute. Yeah. Tell me more about that. And then there you go. You have a discussion about it. Okay. So those are some, I hope helpful, frequently asked question answers 
that we can get you started. And if you have any more that I didn't bring up, please be sure to post below and I can answer them no problem. Also be sure to watch the other videos I post because I'm going to start making these um, sequential videos. Well, maybe not sequential, um, but just I'm going to make videos generally um, to help you guys get started, to help answer a lot of questions that I get. It's just a lot easier to make a video than to just do a random you know, post um, with words. So if there's any topic that you want to hear about, post it below and I will do a video on that particular topic. Okay. Okay. Great ladies. Have a good weekend. Talk to you later.